tonight we are having our dress rehearsal um, to get ready for Saturday's um, taping. We're getting used to the performance space because we've been rehearsing in my living room, which we can be socially distanced in. But our recorder player, who is a wind instrument, obviously, and well, we have this new, <laughs> this new term, an aerosol producing instrument, um, we kind of put him in the adjacent dining room behind glass uh, pocket doors that <laughs> happened to be in my house. So he was really in a separate room and kind of distant and really kind of hard to, to hear and tune and different things. His front room is large enough that it can sustain all three non-wind players distanced and masked. But for me, I'm the recorder player. I can't play masked. I have to be unmasked. There was one rehearsal back in the summer um, where I wasn't feeling well, didn't want to risk it, so I simply zoomed into the rehearsal, uh, turned my sound off, and played along with them. So the rehearsal was for my benefit and not really for theirs at all. At the very beginning, it was scary because being a wind player, we didn't know whether it was ever gonna be safe for me at all. But once we were able to sort of get a handle on some of the science and, you know, learn about aerosols and everything else like that, we were able to make accommodations. And so it actually became, for a group as small as ours, relatively easy to accommodate. We um, were in rehearsal last February and March uh, with this very program. Um, but with a singer, uh, because the, the, the larger program, you know, kind of two 40-minute halves, included a number of major vocal works. Um, and that was going to be presented in April here at this church. And, of course, that concert didn't happen. We just snipped out all of the, the vocal parts of this program. You just can't sustain an audience for a 90-minute virtual performance. So we've really trimmed this down to be under an hour, um, and taking the vocal works out of the performance actually worked in, in terms of time, but it'd be nice to have them there because they're extraordinary works and add a whole other sound and another texture, but not just now. <laughs> Because the performing we have done has been on video, then the visual element it becomes really important in trying to be as compelling as possible visually. So that's not something I've really thought about that much because we just don't perform in that medium. Um, of course, performing to an empty room, we all feel really strange about doing that, but we've learned new stuff. We have new skill sets now that we didn't have before, and so I think going forward, a lot of the, that technology is going to remain in place, and hopefully that'll maybe in, uh, enable us to reach a broader audience, but it will be a relief to see faces and friends in the audience and, and play for them. Mm -hmm.